So someone is asking, Assalamu alaikum. If a person was born as Muslim and lived their life practicing the Hindu religion, and then before they die, said that they wanted to be buried in Islam because they did not convert to Hindu and they die, should they be buried in Islam? We did not know if they took or recite Shahadat before death. Okay, so if a person uh, uh, was born a Muslim and then the question is saying that that person uh, practiced, you know, um, another religion, okay? In, for their entire life, you know, and then the, close to death, the person says when he or she dies, then they should be buried in, according to the Islamic uh, way, rites of burial, because they did not leave their Islam. Then it doesn't actually, it doesn't add up. And doesn't add up mean that the words will not be accepted. Why? Because rejection of Islam or apostating, which is called riddha in Arabic, it does not only come about by you uttering words of kufr or you uttering words of shirk or you saying I am no longer Muslim. But if the individual simply practices another religion by doing what they do, doing their way of worship, you know, and uttering the things that they have, the chants and the different things that they have to utter, you know, standing before different things, deities and, and, and things in their worship, then this alone shows that the person has actually rejected or moved away from Islam and entered into, you know, what, a new religion. So the conduct and the practice of the person itself these things themselves tell you that the person is no longer Muslim. All that the person may say, but um, I, I, I have not left Islam. The question is, if you have not left Islam, Islam says this thing is shirk. So why are you doing these things? So if you decide to hold on to shirk, then shirk and Islam are two opposites. <laughs> like the night and the day. It's either you are in the night or you are in the day. You can't be in the night and day at the same time. Because <laughs> that's Rashad. <laughs> You know, so the period of time you are, are, are standing somewhere, it has to be the night or the day. They can't be. So it's either you are in Islam or in Kufr. Okay? It, it can't be, you can't marry the boat. So what the person was doing in his life, everything is shirk. You know, and then to say that I never give it up, you know, so then the question is, why did you do all these things? Everything that you disobeyed Allah, you commit your shirk, the most heinous sin on the face of the earth. So no, the person... If you have no knowledge of the person uh, coming back into Islam and reaccepting Islam and, and, and things like that and reciting the Shahada, then it will be treated, he will be treated, he or she will be treated just like based on what they were practicing. Okay? Um, if it is that you have knowledge that they, they have re uh, uh, taken the Shahada and altered the Shahada, then now that's a different thing now. It means the person now, you know, he has reaccepted Islam, so you'll have to give him the Islamic burial. <laughs>